Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python series and this is our second tutorial on this one. In this tutorial we will learn to install the Python on the Windows machine. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial we learned that what is Selenium and why we need to learn the Selenium with the Python. So in order to write our scripts in this Python with Selenium, we need to install and configure the Python on our operating system. So I'm using Windows machine right now. So let's see how we can install the Python on the Windows machine. So I will share two ways for this one. The first one is uh, very simple. Just go here and type download Python Windows. And this is the website. You click on this one. And here, if you want a specific or different version of the pre release, so you can click on this one. And by default, it detects which operating system you are using. So that's why it, it is suggesting me to download for the windows but in case uh, if it doesn't detect your operating system properly so you can select linux like let me click on this one mac and other so here you will see that we have this pre-releases this one so this is a pre-release from here and what are you consider your needs carefully before a version then current production versions so click on this one so here you will see the different versions are available here, right? So you can download and install the specific version on this one. And if we go to this one, again, you will find the sources for this one here. And then if we talk about download Python for other operating systems or so the platforms, so here you will get information Python for iOS, right? Python for this particular uh, operating system. Python for the Solaris. So if you are using any different packages or different operating systems, you can install your Python accordingly. So right now, as we are using the Windows platform, so let me go here. And this these releases are for the Python ones, as for the uh, Mac OS, and then this is for the Windows. So right now, um, we will be going with the latest one. Click on this one here and it will start downloading this one and taller uh, you will get and simply double click on this one to run this one and it will say install but before clicking on install we need to select this add python.exe to the path so why we need to select this option so after installing the python we need to tell our operating system where our python exists so tomorrow if we want to execute some python commands on the windows so our operating system and the windows will recognize that eventually if we don't select this one and we will install the python and after installing what happens is that we need to go and configure the environment path so what is environment path here simply go here and search for environment variables or system environment variables click on this one go to environment variables here and here you see that we have some user variables for this particular machine then we have some system variables and here you see that i have configured java node and that's how my system is recognizing the java and the node here and right now we'll go here into the path so there is you know for dotnet we have for node i have for the java right so I have all the particular paths available here and here you even won't see if I go to the user variables here even here you will not see any python variable as of now so eventually we need to set the path here and the beauty of uh, using this check here is that it will automatically add the path okay just select this one then click on install now so it will automatically install as well as it will set the environment path or the variables for us so once it will be installed successfully on your machine we will go and confirm this one so here still the setup is in the progress so it will hardly take a couple of minutes to install the python on your operating system and the windows so this is done simply uh, click on this close but before that if you want to start with the python there's some online tutorials which is can recommending by the python team itself so 
So you will see that this is Python 3.12.0 documentation. And again, you have tutorials, you have, if you want to learn the Python. So everything is available. Like if you go to tutorial here, so here you will find the tutorials, like if, as, numbers, strings, data types, anything you want to learn. So here you will find all the details. And again, this is really, really good. So for example, if you want to learn about how the if statement works here, yeah, simply click on this one. And let me show you how this, this information is useful when you are learning the Python. So here is tell about the if statement, how the if statement is working. Then we have this explanation for this one, right? So you will see a very detailed tutorials here, very detailed, uh, detailed tutorials here in order to learn the Python. So that's the beauty, right? And now uh, simply if I go back here, and let me close this one right now. And now uh, what we need to do is that let's go to the environment variables first and see either we have environment variables for the Python or not. Okay. So again, simply go here and go to environment variables and here click on environment variables. And now you see that we have this Python here now, right? So we have Python things all available in the environment variables. Okay. And second thing is that now we need to ensure that either Python is successfully installed on my Windows machine or not. So there's a very simple trick for this one. Go to your terminal and here simply you need to type Python dash dash version. Okay. So now you see that it's, it's reflecting the Python 3.12.0. This means that Python is configured and my system is recognizing the Python now. Okay. So this is the one way of uh, installing uh, the Python. The other way is that Microsoft Store is available. So Microsoft Store, click on this one. And it's just like a Google Store or Play Store, something like that. And here, just... Uh, go and search for python and hit enter so you will see that it's available for free and this is you know python 3.11 python 3.10 3.9 so you just need to click on uh, click on this one and click on the get button okay so it will install and configure the python itself in your machine okay as we have already installed the Python, so I'm not going through this process again, but you simply need to click on this one. It will simply, you know, download, install and configure the path for, for the Python on your operating system. And similarly, um, th this is, uh, this is how you can actually install uh, your Python on your Windows machine. But now when you have a Python, we need some, some editor some integrated development environment in order to work with this one okay so in our upcoming tutorial like if we go here if we type let me see so by charm so you might not find this here i believe so let me go here so uh but you you can get the Visual Studio code from here because it's a Microsoft and you can start writing the script in this one. Okay, so you can install the Visual Studio code from here. But for this tutorial series, I will be using the PyCharm and let me go to the browser again here and let me show you uh, PyCharm and it is by the JetBrains. So simply go this one. And this is specifically for writing the, you know, Python script. So it's very, very friendly when we start writing the script. So in our upcoming tutorial, uh, I will uh, tell you how to install the PyCharm on your Windows machine. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.